But yeah, right now what we should really be seeing is a bunch of footwork, a bunch of um, ground movement, especially with Lucina loving the ground and doing a lot of her um, attacks on the ground. But I think I just... No, different, different wolf. However, right now we already have uh, Ruth taking uh, just a little, bit of a, a little bit of a lead against uh, Lucina. Well, of course, Stretch is going to just absolutely rack up a little bit of points against him. Both players playing not very safe, both of them very much going each other. Uh, I think, honestly, Ruth is on, is taking the uh, initiative and really going in uh, when he needs to. And approaching Stretch when he... Uh, and Stretch is, kind of, Stretch is mostly a player who likes to kind of weigh it out and notice your habits. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's simply just waiting it out, seeing uh, Ruth's, Ruth's bad habits, and he's going to exploit them. Ruth trying to keep Lucina off that ledge, off the ledge, yep, and just like that, take the first stock. Only at maybe 80, 90%. Alright, so let's see, what's going on here? Uh, we got Stretch at a pretty... Okay, yeah, okay, so Ruth is setting up a pretty solid uh, lead here. Got making some good control of the ledge. I really like those, uh, like, those soft retreating, fading nares. You know, just putting it out there. If you commit, you're gonna get hit by it. Ooh, but Stretch gonna get off stage and uh, catch him with the back air. Mhm. Mm and but again, Stretch is honestly at a pretty good disadvantage against uh, Ruth Wolf. But he could easily bring it back. Like, this is this is definitely not game for either for either players really. Yep. Ruth holding shield up, making mm -hmm. sure uh, just to find that perfect moment and get the opening. Pushing uh, Stretch to the edge of the stage. Having some advantage, but Stretch pretty comfortable on the edge there. Great punish for that, uh, for uh, Wolf Special. However, it just seems like Stretch is trying, Stretch is definitely racking up the, racking up the percentage on Ruth, trying to make that back into like neutral. Um, but good punish by Ruth for uh, for Lucina's uh, parry back air. All right, good control, good weight, but uh, Stretch able to see right through it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, putting the blaster, just respecting, because uh, you have to respect Lucina on the ledge. Yep. Just like, let her come back, uh, let her grab the ledge, and then do the ledge trapping, which is what Wolf is so good at, and traps her, catches the back air, killing her off the side. All right, and we got another edge guard Again, situation. Letting Lucina get back on the stage, and then Lucina just take that second stock from Ruth, sending this right back into neutral, where uh, Ruth has such a good advantage and uh, was really in front of Stretch. But now Stretch is pretty much bringing it back, telling him, hey, I can play this game very well, and I will show you how so. But Ruth, again, Ooh. letting Lucina get back on the stage, as you should. Okay, a little bit of an errant uh, dash attack, catching the tip of the shield, and just an easy grab. All right. Okay, Ralph, you're going to be taking center. Ooh, almost able to link that into, like, a really good situation. Would have put him off stage. Don't. Ooh. Oh, with the wolf back nice. air, yep. That's, that's what it was going to do for Lucina. Now, I have a feeling they might actually... Um, judging from the, from the way that... Well, both of them were mostly on the ledge. So, I think that they're likely not gonna really mine a stage that doesn't have a middle platform or no platforms like uh, like an fd situation would yep. really would would not really um like affect them too much did uh okay so ralphie got rid of i'm sorry ruth got rid of smashville and lilat mm -hmm. and stretches counterpick is battlefield so yeah i mean it makes sense it's a pretty uh pretty standard uh marcina stage especially when you get rid of uh Smashville, which is like the Fire Emblem stage uh, nowadays. So here we are, game two. Uh, you can already see Stretch taking advantage of like staying on the platforms, trying to just stay out of range, but basically giving Ruth center and like, you know, kind of like, it's like, hey, you got to come in on me. I'm going to just have this bubble of death. Mm -hmm. And right here we have Stretch. All right, at seventy-eight percent, like seventy-eight percent deficit, basically, and really letting himself just get whipped by this by this uh, wolf. Yeah. All right. So yeah, uh, Ruth doing a really good job of just like you know, uh, staying right, just out of Stretch's range, which is something really difficult to do versus Sorties. You know, obviously mm -hmm. they have a uh, completely disjointed extension, and uh, yeah, Ralphie barely taking any damage. 
Uh, now only at 40, 40 damage on uh, second stock. Oh, and right here we have Ruth just is still chilling at 77%, three stocks, and be, I think she's trying, uh, really trying his best to ledge guard him. However, it's just simply not working out. And ooh, the basic reversal of, of the role is now Ruth is again the aggressor and stretches uh, really trying to catch up. Yeah, and you can tell that. Ruth knows what Stretch is looking for. Oh, you were talking about the edge guards that they weren't happening. Well, right there, Stretch proving us wrong. But you notice he went for that up B in the middle of the stage, which is a very good option because you can land on that platform. But just anticipating it, still able to punish it. And oh yeah, I love this. Adjusting the game plan. Instead, trying to throw more lasers, trying to space out. But spacing out Lucina can be so tricky. These back airs don't mean anything against a, uh, a sword like the Falcon. Mm -hmm. And again, with those spacing, it's very good to know how how much of your space your t the other character takes up in order for Ruth to be able to really um, just move or maneuver around such as uh, extended hate boxes because of that sword and uh, Falchion. Oh, interesting. Ooh. That could have been a really big opening for Ruth, but somehow Stretch manages to get out of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, and maybe, yeah, you see starting the smash attacks coming out from Wolf. Back throw, I don't think is going to do it quite yet. Yeah, just It was quite close, but it was likely a really good DI from a stretch. And of course, letting Lucina get back, back, get back on stage, because she can easily punish you if you try to even do anything to her off that stage. And, uh, and Ruth taking out uh, Stretch's second stock. Ruth had a really good uh, advantage right now. Even though he's at 94%, he can easily just keep it at that. And if he really is able to keep Lucina, um, if he keeps control of center stage, he can easily take out Stretch's last stock. However, that just seems not it right now. Yeah, no state control to be had. Finally an opening! Such big damage from Wolf. Oh my god, that almost killed outright! <laughs> Stretch, it felt like he was about to make this comeback, about to even things up, but man, even that up B's not enough. Stretch oh, is that kind of struggling to get the kill. I think nah. it was because there was so much shield stun there on that was, side there, B. There was so much good opportunity to use, a count, to use Lucina's counter for Wolf. Because that's what uh, Stretch was doing before. He was doing uh, Lucina's counter at the ledge when Wolf was recovering. However, he just didn't do it that time. He just did a shield and it's just a humongous lag after that. Yeah, right. done. yeah, Stretch kind of pushed to the brink, yep. looking for an opening, maybe a neutral air, anything like that. But I love this. Ruth is knowing what's coming, able to punish so effectively. Stretch absolutely is a, at the breaking point here. One back air from mid stage, even a forward air out of shield is not enough to do it. He is just not dying. He just simply refuses to die, even though again, oh, but that's gonna be it for Ruth. One more stock, zero yeah, percent. High I mean, advantage right now. Yeah, and you notice that was actually a really high back air, and that's yep. why Stretch was able to run underneath it. And, oh man, we were talking about how uh, he was uh, just about to crack, but Stretch is so good under pressure. Look at this 78%. One edge guard like we saw in that first stock might even complete the path. <gasps> yeah, I don't know if he has a jump. The other no! that's it. Stretch Took that a jump. <laughs> that was so good. I'm not sure what that air dodge was. I think perhaps that Ruth was really anticipating, you know, an instant sort of, you know, just rising aerial. Mm -hmm. And it was just a little bit too anticipatory because just hanging back reacted and that forward air was all that was required to seal the deal here. Yeah, I guess because he kind of faked yeah. him out. You saw us if we can actually get a little bit of a... Uh, whoop. If we can go back just a little bit uh, here. Oh, no. Further back than that. Okay, yeah, just before this. So you'll notice he gets the hit here, and then look at this. This He's about to make this kind of faint jump. And then immediately drifts right back to the ledge. And I think that faint jump, when you are that... It's a complete yep. Yeah, when you are that... Like, it's such an intense moment, you know, you were, you had this in the game, in the bag, and all of a sudden you're being pushed, and yeah, I, it was enough, there was, he was too scared, Stretch exploiting that so beautifully. Mm -hmm. Again, I told you, Stretch, Stretch will wait, find your habits, and exploit them, and right here, he just simply baited out uh, Ruth, and that caused Ruth to come back, get hit, and completely lose that jump that he desperately needed to come back to the stage. However, now they're picking up, taking over to PS2, where possibly in Stretch's um, advantage, that third platform won't be such a problem this time. Yeah, that third platform was so good for the uppies. Not only that, but this on this stage, drop down back air from those platforms with Wolf is just a nightmare. So 
Also, a little bit longer, we saw that uh, Ralphie was not afraid to laser camp if need be. So let's see how this game is going to develop. Being trapped in the corner, what can Stretch do? Oh, just run up steel. Very bold from Stretch trying to run up for just like that. However, it just looks like, hmm. Stretch really using the ledge to the advantage as he should. Oh. oh, oh, for a second, I really thought that was it. However, here we go. It's like taking that first off, off from Stretch. Ruth's 100, 101% point nine. Here we go. Yeah, this is oh, such a tricky situation. We saw Stretch earlier really struggle to get some kills on Ralphie. And pretty much every stock that he got, that pretty much our low percent stock, was from an edge guard. And it seems that Ralphie has cleaned up his play just a little bit to the point where he's not dropping so early off stage. You can see that stretch. I love the platform movement. I love the spacing, but great roll away. Mm -hmm. That's going to keep Ruth alive here. Again, I absolutely love the way that both these players are able to just move around to the kind of like a dance. Ooh. And stretch completely destroyed with an up smash. But again, the, these players reading around each other, scaring, scaring around each other, able to know how far one opponent's uh, move set move is and their hitbox. Yeah, and how, it's worth noting that that was the second full hop that was punished for a kill. There was one earlier on in the last game. So right now, Stretch doing a fantastic job of punishing what's normally a really tricky thing for players to do against Wolf. Again, the full hop gets punished, leads to all of this damage. Beautiful neutral air, though, managing to thread the needle in between uh, Lucina's own neutral air. Mm -hmm. I always get so scared seeing Lucina's upbeat. Maybe she won't come back or something because it's so fast and she just... She always comes back. I gotta, get, I gotta believe in Lucina. I gotta <laughs> believe in Stretch. Oh, man. One thing I'm believing in is that down air from Lucina. Uh -huh. It's so staled right now that I'm pretty sure that if he lands another one, he could true combo it into a death. Oh, a good attempt at the read for the roll-up. However, just a little bit too close to the ledge to really get uh, really punish that. However, both both players on ledge right now. That Ooh. might do it. Oh, just no. barely great. enough. It's because Stretch has great DI. Trying to do like Oh. <laughs> He, they, they, both of them, both of them tried reading the other person. Stretch tried reading uh, Ruth's forward smash, and Ruth tried reading Stretch's uh, roll. However, it, it just didn't work out like that. Yeah, and now we're into the last stock between both of these players here. Oh, low percent combos from Wolf can be so devastating, but only 22% dished out onto Stretch. Ideally, it would just rack up up to like maybe 60%, really. And that's what Ruth really needs right now. Just rack up a lot of damage against his Lucina, who can easily kill him in about 30%. Yeah, but there's, I mean, even less if he manages mm -hmm. to actually bring him off stage, which he's looking for right now with a bit of stage positioning. Who knows what might happen here? Trying to punish ledge jumps, but doesn't matter. The coverage is too much. Ruth cannot find a way back to it like a solid state of neutral. Ooh. Oh, almost a really good punish. However, great parry from, uh, from Stretch. But again, Ruth is just simply back into a corner. Try oh, and Lily back into a corner off the stage. Yeah, you <laughs> saw he tried to punish that high recovery. You know, whether it was a mm -hmm. ledge jump so many times. And then finally, Ruth gave it to him. And that yep. back here closed out the stock. 2-0 victory with a great comeback in, on in both of these games, actually. Uh, just shows the kind of <laughs> presence of mind and just ability to not crack under pressure mm -hmm. that Stretch has. He's a veteran of the scene, and uh, it's great to see that he's back here because we haven't seen him in a bit. It's, it's true. I think he came last week. Oh, and, yep. And, oh, not, not last week, but like on Wednesday. I, I forget that today is Zeno Saga. Hey. Hey. And if, if you're pumped for the fact this is Zeno Saga, why not type exclamation point Matt Torino in the chat? I don't know what happened, but we're already at $57.80. So we had so, a $30 donation. $30 donation. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. Thank you so much for whoever did that. Do you remember who it was? I don't remember. The, uh, it was Ice, Ice Snacks. Snacks. And the Thank message you. was, Zomba better win. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and thankfully it, he did. You know, very <laughs> might possibly happen tonight. Mm -hmm. But you don't necessarily have to be a big $30 do nope. donator. If you just fill out the Macharino link, if you follow the instructions, you add money to the pot, which the players can take home. And honestly, one of the players who I think... Maybe you might, might want to see take home some money is one of the competitors stepping up next. This is going to be Nick C versus Noku. No yep. Uh, this is going to be kooky. So, Nick C, of course, it's so great to see him back. The guy has, if you don't know, a fantastic streamer. He's one of the funniest guys out there, and his stream absolutely keeps up with it. Uh, 